Hello students, uh, in today's video on antiemetics part 5, we will study pharmacology of uh, prokinetic drugs uh, with reference to metoclopramide. Now examples of prokinetic drugs are uh, metoclopramide, domperidone, cesapride, mozapride, itopride. Now prokinetic drugs exhibit dual action. Uh, they exhibit effective antiemetic effect and also enhance movement of food that is kind from stomach to intestine uh, thereby speeding up the process of gastric emptying. Now metoclopramide exhibits dual action. It uh, shows its action uh, centrally as well as peripherally. Now let's first talk about the central action of uh, metoclopramide. Now, metoclopramide centrally acts on uh, chemoreceptor trigger zone. It antagonizes dopamine D2 receptors and it also antagonizes uh, serotonin that is 5-hydroxytryptamine 3 receptors which are located on the chemoreceptor trigger zone. And by virtue of its uh, antagonistic effect on uh, dopamine D2 receptors and 5-HT3 receptors located on chemoreceptor trigger zone, it exhibits effective antiemetic effect. Now peripherally, metoclopramide acts on upper GIT. It antagonizes peripheral dopamine D2 receptors on upper GIT and it also shows 5-hydroxytryptamine 4 agonistic action. Now, by virtue of its uh, peripheral action on uh, GIT, it increases gastric peristalsis, that is movement of kind from uh, stomach to intestine and uh, thus uh, metoclopramide exhibits prokinetic effect by enhancing gastrointestinal transit and thereby it speed up the process of gastric emptying. Uh, now let's uh, discuss uh, central as well as uh, peripheral actions of uh, metoclopramide in detail. Now look at this diagram of brain. Now this is the brain stem. Now vomiting center uh, depicted here as VC. It is located in the medulla oblongata. And closely associated with the vomiting center is the chemoreceptor trigger zone uh, that is CTZ. Now CTZ is located outside the blood brain barrier and it is easily stimulated by chemicals, chemotherapeutic agents, drugs like morphine, uh, digoxin etc. And once stimulated chemoreceptor trigger zone transmits amitic impulses to vomiting center and this vomiting center induces vomiting. Now dopamine D2 receptors and 5-hydroxytryptamine 3 receptors are located on chemoreceptor trigger zone and stimulation of these receptors stimulate chemoreceptor trigger zone which in turn stimulate vomiting center and that results in the vomiting. Now metoclopramide it is a dopamine D2 receptor antagonist and 5-hydroxytryptamine 3 receptor antagonist. It blocks D2 as well as 5-HT3 receptors located on chemoreceptor trigger zone, thereby inhibiting transmission of uh, impulse, transmission of amitic impulse from the chemoreceptor trigger zone to the vomiting center and thus preventing the vomiting. And thus metoclopramide exhibits potent antiemetic effect. Now let's uh, talk about the peripheral action of uh, metoclopramide. Metoclopramide has both uh, uh, agonistic as well as antagonistic effect on upper GIT. Now it's a peripheral dopamine D2 receptor antagonist and 5-hydroxytryptamine 4 that is 5-HT4 receptor agonist. Now let's uh, first discuss dopamine D2 receptor antagonistic peripheral effect of uh, metoclopramide on GIT. Now, dopamine acting on D2 receptors is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the gastrointestinal tract. Now, dopamine inhibits release of acetylcholine from intrinsic myantric cholinergic neurons, that is the local nervous uh, system in the upper GIT. Now, reduced acetylcholine causes uh, uh, gastric dilation 
and uh, which reduces transport of chyme from stomach to intestine. Now dopamine also causes relaxation of uh, lower esophageal sphincters. Now these lower esophageal sphincters are located between the esophagus and the stomach. Now relaxation of lower esophageal sphincters can lead to gastroesophageal reflux. That is, a that is a stomach content flows back to the esophagus causing gastroesophageal reflux disease and which results in the heartburn. So overall uh, dopamine causes a delay in the gastric emptying. Now metoclopramide is a dopamine D2 receptor antagonist. Uh, it increases release of acetylcholine from the myantric cholinergic neurons and uh, this results, uh, results in increase in the uh, gastric antral contraction and therefore uh, the food moves into the intestine from the stomach. Now apart from this metoclopramide also uh, increases the uh, lower esophageal sphincter tone. Uh, that is it closes the lower esophageal sphincter which prevents the gastroesophageal reflux which prevents the uh, uh, the stomach content from flowing backwards to the esophagus and thus metoclopramide speeds up the process of gastric emptying. Uh, now let's uh, discuss second peripheral action of uh, metoclopramide. Metoclopramide is a 5-hydroxytryptamine 4 agonist that is 5-HT4 agonist in the GIT. It hastens that is it speeds up the process of uh, gastric emptying. It speeds up the process of transport of the food uh, or the chyme from the stomach to the intestine. Now it's very important to note that more than 95% of 5-hydroxytryptamine or serotonin in the body is present within the enteric nervous system in the GIT. And this 5-HT or serotonin regulates the peristaltic reflex. Now this is the diagram. Uh, uh, this uh, diagram uh, represents a peristaltic reflex. Now as we all know peristalsis is a series of wave-like muscle contractions in the wall of GIT. That is in the wall of esophagus or the stomach or the intestine or the colon. And these Muscle contractions are responsible for the movement of food in the forward direction throughout the digestive tract. Now here bolus uh, represents a small rounded mass of the food that is transported in the GIT. Now peristaltic reflex consists of proximal contraction. Uh, that is uh, this, uh, this is the area that shows the contraction in the wall of uh, uh, the um, wall of the GIT. So this is the proximal contraction. So it consists of uh, proximal contraction that is contraction of the wall of stomach or the GIT and this contraction in the wall of GIT is responsible for pushing the bolus forward in the uh, in the um, forward direction and this is the uh, part of the diagram that shows the distal relaxation. Now distal relaxation is a relaxation of the segment that receives the bolus. Now uh, this bolus it exerts local distension in the GIT wall. Now this distension which is produced by the bolus it stimulates excitatory neurons as well as inhibitory neurons. Now stimulation of excitatory neurons causes release of acetylcholine, it uh, increases the release of substance P and neurokinin A. Now these transmitters propel the bolus in the forward direction while stimulation of inhibitory neurons releases uh, nitric oxide, vasoactive intestinal peptide and pituitary adenylcyclase activating polypeptide that relax GIT wall in front of the bolus. Now this is how the bolus is transported from the stomach to the intestine and this process is called as the classic peristaltic reflex. Now uh, metoclopramide is uh, 5-hydroxytryptamine 4 that is 5-HT4 agonist in uh, GIT. Uh, 
It stimulates 5-HT4 receptors in the gut and thereby it enhances uh, the release of acetylcholine from myantric motor, motor neuron in the GIT facilitating proximal contraction. Now thus metoclopramide facil facilitates uh, proximal contractions which are, which are responsible for pushing the bolus in the forward direction and thus metoclopramide hastens or speeds up the process of gastric emptying. It speeds up the process of transportation of uh, chyme or the bolus from the stomach to the intestine. And uh, therefore, uh, metoclopramide is very useful in the management of uh, gastroparesis that is delayed gastric emptying. Now let's talk about the pharmacokinetics of uh, metoclopramide. Now, metoclopramide is rapidly absorbed when administered orally. It can also be administered uh, by intramuscular route and intravenous route. Onset of action is half an hour to one hour after oral administration, within 10 minutes uh, after intramuscular administration and within 2 minutes after intravenous administration. Half-life of uh, metoclopramide is 3 to 6 hours while action lasts for about 4 to 6 hours. Now, adverse effects. General adverse effects of uh, metoclopramide are drowsiness, dizziness, loose stools and muscle dystonias. While long term use can cause drug induced Parkinsonism, galactoria, gynecomastia. Now these adverse effects are due to D2 antagonistic effect of uh, metoclopramide on chemoreceptor trigger zone. Now even though uh, metoclopramide is a very effective antiemetic, it's not the drug of choice because of these side effects. And 5-HT3 antagonists are preferred over the prokinetic agents. Now uses of metoclopramide. Now as it is effective antiemetic, metoclopramide is used in the prophylaxis and treatment of uh, nausea and vomiting due to post-operative cancer chemotherapy. Uh, then drug induced uh, nausea and vomiting. It's very effective in disease induced nausea and vomiting, uh, especially vomiting induced by migraine. And it is also effective in nausea and vomiting caused by radiation sickness. Now, as uh, discussed earlier, as the uh, metoclopramide speeds up the process of gastric emptying, it is uh, indicated in gastroparesis, that is, delayed gastric emptying, for example, diabetic gastroparesis. And the metoclopramide is also effective in mild cases of uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease. So this is in brief on the pharmacology of uh, prokinetic drugs with reference to metoclopramide. Now if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Now very important to note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for the students. Uh, from their examination point of view. So kindly consult your physician for the treatment of uh, nausea and vomiting. Thanks for watching this video.